Raphael Bistros. Welcome back again. As you see, I'm playing Fantasy Tavern. From we last left off, I, um, Anzu, there you go, wanted to work in the Tracy Tavern, but Lupini did not want that. So, what Lupini did was, okay, all these Anzu and Lupini agree, where they did like a little uh, bet, where if... Anzu, while she's working there for the week, can double their profit within the week, too. Okay, she is allowed to work at the Stray Sheep Tavern. Okay, if not, then she gets kicked out. Okay, and that's the unfortunate part. All right, she's not just able to double it, but she triple it. So now she, I guess, for some reason, officially working here, even though technically we don't necessarily have to. But it's very funny about that. Okay, as well as Lupini was getting a little annoyed about like the cooperation of me and Anzu, even though I don't like Anzu, I can not un I can well, I can say I can understand. Okay, of how probably because you know since we both work together for God knows how long and stuff like that, we have our own little like signs and stuff. But yeah, but basically, make a short. She's part of the team now. So Vernika and Dora came by. Vernika was drunk. Then suddenly start a welcome party for her. Doing a welcome party. Premier is there also, of course. But Premier got really drunk. So drunk that she was doing a spell with water that luckily did not finish because, again, the way Veronica was acting, it sounded like it was going to be really bad. Okay, don't know how bad, but really bad. And she got really wet after I stopped her. Very wet. Very seafood wet. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, this is basically after the whole thing. Okay, all these um after um, Primalia spell again, clean up and all that. Oh yeah, also I just remember too, like how uh, Daisy was being so like blunt. Okay, with her unnecessary comments that I love so much about her big old titties. Okay, and also like sexy underwear and all that. Oh my god, that was great. Love it very much. But okay, enough of me blabbing. I'm talking too much. Let's just start this now. All right. As Polina uh, leaves to go for a bath, it signals the end of the welcome party. I decide to have everyone to take a go take a bath while I clean up. At this moment, Polina, Lupi, and Daisy should all be taking a friendly bath together. Probably Anzu too. Would also Dolia and Veronica be taking a bath there too? If they're still there? If that's still there. Ooh. Oh, I just had like an image of my head. What happens if I walk in? I want five of them. It is five, right? No, six. My bad. I can count. I wonder if Emily's clothes will dry by tomorrow. We can't get uh, we can't give them back. We can't give them back all wet. So we decided to have the um have her stay the night instead. Well, even if they're not dry, Veronica can always do her flame and wind uh, to dry them off. Yes, thank you. I'll be fine. We all ate every last bite, so it's not, I just have to do the di ah, I have to do the dishes. Dishes to do. I fucked it up. Uh, anyway. You're still a little drunk, aren't you? If you break any dishes, you'll get in trouble. So, you should take it easy. That's good. I have a nice little conversation. I, I meant as a joke, but... I, her reply sounds pretty... <laughs> uh, subdue. Um, is it serious? She doesn't seem troubled by the joke I made. Rather, she seemed distracted by whether to bring up a serious topic or not. I wonder if she's going to mention about the the magic, the spell that uh, Pumilio was about to do. Yeah. Which girl? What girl? You mean Primalia? What do you mean by watch yourself? What is she talking about? Oh, it was ancient magic. 
I didn't know it was, okay, how am I supposed to know what's ancient magic and what's, um, X-ray vision magic, see through clothes? I have no idea. Ancient magic? Okay. Brilliant continues her expression, adding in that a uh, um, that a magic summoning circle may sometimes be necessary, as well as expand uh, intensive preparation beforehand. Oh, so exactly we got a hint now about maybe how we can get back home. Um, those are the spells which might be able to send me back to my own world, right? Hmm, and if she's in verse, well, not probably well in verse, but depending on what it is, but since Premier is well in verse in some probably ancient magic, we could probably get some understanding of it with her help. That'd be good. Preparation? What do you, uh, you mean that just, not just say anyone can do it? There you go. Hmm. I see. Okay. Oh, that means she's a better mage than you are. Or at least more well versed in magic than you are. Magic that even Veronica can't do? So you're saying that the spell Premier was about to cast was a pretty powerful one? Oh, really? Okay, so... How powerful is this magic? I'm, I speculate it was gonna be like, able to destroy the whole, like, town or something. Yes, uh, again, well, I think of tidal waves, I think of the giant waves basically that can destroy cities and stuff, so is that that? Okay! Wow, okay, I'm uh, familiar. No more alcohol for you. You are done with the happy juice. Seriously, we do not want you to do, like, magic while intoxicated. Uh, huh? Wipe away, uh, wipe away a city? Wow, okay. No way. Why in the world has she attempted to use such dangerous magic? Because she was drunk. Oh my god, seriously. Uh, could she have, uh, could she have a grudge against someone here? Yeah! <laughs> I will keep her away from the happy juice. I understand. Oh. I'm glad you enjoyed your bath. Got it. Let's bring this out chat about Permalia next time. I'll make sure to be careful. Okay. What do you want, Daisy? You're gonna hold me for big bro power, aren't you? What is it? Okay. Uh, it wasn't until you mentioned it, to be honest, but okay. Don't be silly. How is that insulted? How? What? Why do you feel insulted? I think you should be knowing that I'm a, like don't think of you as just a sex object or something, or whatever. Although it's a bath that Daisy and the other girls have just been in. When I put it like that, I can't help but feel a little bothered. Somehow, taking a bath feels a lot harder now. Oh, stop. Bad kitty. Oh boy, bad kitty. 
Daisy presses her flesh, um, flesh wash body, uh, against me. Uh, against mine. Sorry. I can feel the heat through her clothes, uh, her flushed, um, flush face, and her wet hair. Everyone, uh, yeah, everyone of my sense, my senses can feel Daisy. Everyone of my senses. So you also say I am tasting her because that is one of the senses. I'm just saying. So what? Are we licking her or some shit? Yeah. Stop that. I'm, you're gonna put me in a weird mood. Oh boy. Ah! God damn it, Daisy. Stop. You're a cat in heat right now, aren't you? I'm. Why does it have to come to that? Ah, <sighs> I'm not going to get in the bath and, uh, Anzu is in the, your room, right? You should be. Hmm. Then would you tell her that I'm taking a bath? It would be awkward to bump into her there. Oh, uh, okay. I see what this is going to lead to. We're going to eat it. We're going to walk in. I, well, she's already in the bath, or going to the bath, or she walks in on me while I'm about to go in the bath. One or the other. And probably with Andrew's personality, either way, I'm gonna be like a free brain, pervert, monkey in heat thing, I don't know, something. Okay, please tell her now. Right. Replying, I'm um, applying to my request. Uh, Daisy goes back to her room. After watching her leave, I head to the bath. I wish I can go to the healing wards again. Oh, that'd be nice. Which means that comes to mind is that the one that Veronica took me to. The one day, the on days like this, with so much accumulating exhaustion, I want to go to a big bath enough to stretch out warm up my body and just go to bed personally that's the best way to get rid of your wellness eh, probably i don't know why well, i do like taking a nice hot shower it's very relaxing for me so uh yeah you know what yeah you can however the reality of it is much more difficult in my home world having a bath while i was living alone meant well my utility bill i would surely skyrocket. Oh yeah, I can't imagine how that would be. In the end, there are well, many days where I end up taking a shower and nothing else. Well, again, shower can be good. Well, though, again, baths are better. Showers are relaxing too, but baths are better. Love baths. Right. Now, time to jump in the bath and then go to bed. And then we see Anzu in her underwears. Or naked. Probably both. Well, half naked. Quarter naked. I don't know what you're going. Yup, that I was right. Huh? Hello! Oh shit. She actually looks like the cute girl like this. I don't like her in the pigtails, actually. Alright. When I enter the bath, my I'm faced with a girl not wearing even one shred of clothes clothing. What? Repeating and the other girls are in their rooms, right? It's not Dolly or Vernika either. Hello, Anzu! You actually look at you actually look nice right now with your hair down. I prefer your hair like that. Even though I can't fully see your hair. That means the one standing for me is Anzu! I'm waiting, isn't Anzu supposed to be in Lupini's room? I, hang on. <laughs> it's, ah. Hang on. Who cares about that? Anzu is unmistakably in the ba in the bath right now. And I meant, I mean, sorry. Yep, this is a very awkward situation. The day when someone screams at me like this will become the anniversary of my death. Oh boy. Anzu cocked back her arms wildly, and hey, it is undoubtedly being swung back in order to punch me. Crap. If I don't move, she'll hit me. Ooh! Why is this a choice? Okay, well this is a choice, I gotta save it. There we go. Okay, let's see. So, avoid her punch, 
Oh, stop, uh, man, you from punching me. Um, you know, actually, I would actually, I would most likely try to stop it, only because she. Oh no, it could be a more awkward situation because when floor simply falls on me, I'll fall on top of her. Grab the naughty bits. I'm overthinking these. We're just gonna hold, stop the punch. Just go with that. I got to stop her. And so, hear me out. I stretch out my hand, trying to stop her swinging fist. Slip. Yeah, I know it. What? And the resistance um, disappears from underneath my foot, which is just plant, um, planted on the floor. I feel my body falling forward. I managed to stop Angie's fist, but I can't stop the momentum of my falling body. Oh, what did we touch? Oh, did we fall on top of her and kill her? Oh boy. Anzu! You're dead! Sorry! A fat body crushed you. Oh no, uh, oh! Hello! I see what my hand is right now! Oh boy! Ow! Feeling um, guilty for knocking Anzu down, I end <laughs> endure the pain in my arm. It seems, it seems this pain is from stretching my elbows out as I fall. Oh, sorry, Anzu. Are you okay? You try punching me, bitch! Oh, hello. Hey, at least I don't have to censor because it's only doing for me. And my line, <laughs> direct line of sight is Andrew's chest. Yes. Then, I see that my hands is clenched onto her breast. I like talent. Well, why do you say breast? Because from what we're seeing right now, one hand's on the floor, while also technically my phone's on her hand. That might hurt a little bit. And my other hand's all on one breast. Just putting that out there. Both hands are not on breasts. Also, like talons. Wouldn't that hurt too? Like, what does that mean? My nails are digging in there. Okay. And then you could be bleeding. Or she could be bleeding. That sounds really bad. Ow. Oh. Oh, I don't want to imagine how painful that would be then. Ooh. Uh. This isn't what. Don't they say that. Uh, don't they say that a drowning man will catch a loose. Hey. At loose straw? Okay. That's the excuse that pops into my head, and I am I am I stupid or something? Yes, that's. I'm surprised she's not flipping out right now yet. As her expression grows even more stern than before, I can't blame her for being mad angry. Yes. Yes. I'm surprised she's really calm right now. S sorry. I jump away and quickly turn around so my back is facing Anzu. I'm really sorry. Yes, I did think my apologies would be acceptable. Well, that was the monkey in heat. I'm a monkey now. Might as well keep playing the part. She's keep calling me a monkey. Sorry. I'm down. It seems I really pissed Enzo off. I should just leave. Uh, I should just leave a bit late. Alright, literally, instead of trying to apologize more. Oh! Now she sounds sweet! Now she doesn't sound like a bitch! Yay! Well, that's the thing though. If you were acting like a bitch, I probably would be more happy than with you. Oh, 
Aw. Okay, now you give me the feels. Don't give me the feels. Don't make me sympathize with you right now after the bullshit you do. Don't do that. You called me a monkey all just recently. And not just a monkey, a monkey in heat. Don't make me sympathize with her right now. Damn it, you're making me sympathize now. Seriously. I hear all kinds of I um, hear all kinds of wailings coming from the bathroom. As it must be really furious. Wow, my couch is a fucking idiot. Thoughts. My life is over, isn't it? Um, this has um this had been um this had to happen to the only girl from my world, and to make it worse, someone I used to work with there. There's no doubt I'll be sued for this when we get back home. No, we won't because there's no proof. There's no proof. I I can't help feel a faint when it comes to this. I can't just idiot. Why? Does my body feel so heavy? Oh boy. Either it's Anzu or Primia. Maybe both. Or it could be all the girls. God damn, how did I die with every single one of them on top of me then? Oi. I know I'm strong, but I'm not that strong. Right. I'm not tossing or turning. So which means, uh, which, ah, which means I must be experiencing sleep paralysis. Okay. I never actually know what sleep paralysis is. I, I, I have heard of it, actually, but I, I never experienced it. But any of you guys that ever experienced this whole sleep paralysis thing, I'm kind of curious. Like, how does it feel for you when you guys like that? It's like, I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments. Now what? It's daytime. When I open my eyes, I remember a familiar ceiling on my room. Of my room, sorry. The ceiling hasn't fallen on top of me or anything like that. Then why is my body so heavy? Oh, 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 Daisy and Doria. Oh, oh, I, do, I don't mind this combo right here. I do not mind this combo. They sound adorable when sleeping. Oh, that's. When I swing my head to the left and to the then the right, I feel that I feel that Dolly and Daisy are sleeping there. Oh, see, sorry, what the fuck did I say? Say, <laughs> oh my god, I, I see. My body must be heavy because of these two. Oh, look at that sleepy face! You don't fully see it, but you see a little bit of it. It's so cute right there. Oh, I'm gushing. I'm gushing. Alright, what do you two think of doing? Daisy sits up rubbing her sleepy eyes, however. Oh! Ah! Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, so you can, sleep you can see the sleeping face more now! Look at that sleepy face! It's so cute! Oh, so! God damn it! Ah! Uh, just, let's just wait for a moment. Enjoy the view! Enjoy the view! I'm enjoying the view. Okay, that's enough of the view. Hey, wh why are you naked? Technically, she's not naked. She's in underwear. But Doria, on the other hand, I would not be surprised she is naked. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, just strip mostly naked uh, to absorb your my big bro. Well, not my big bro. The, your big bro power. Whatever you want to call it, big bro power. You don't need to get naked for that. Okay, now Dora is up. And look at that fish too. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, they look adorable. Miss Dora, can you at least give me some notice before you plan on sleeping here, please? Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. Doria is not wearing anything either. She has underwear on! That is still something! Ow! Despite several of the uh, um, 
her paw is being exposed, she doesn't seem to stir up in the slightest. As if to say that sleeping naked is totally normal. They're not naked, technically, again. I. Uh, Miss Doyle, why are you not wearing anything either? She has underwear on. Ah. Wow, she really just goes straight to the point. I love that about Adolio right now. Let's continue! Continue? That may be true. <laughs> now my ASME. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Oh, my God, I does not disagree with this. Okay. That may be true, but now my stimulating, uh, leaning towards shock and confuse and instead. God damn, Daisy! Of course, there's always that boing boing sound. Alright, Daisy instinctively shoves her chest against me. Against where the opposite you're not wrong either, you're in your on these. And you're pressing your breast against me too. Lovely. I'm in heaven. Or hell. Maybe both. I'll be happy right now, then hell later with the other girls. Doria immediately uh, imitated Daisy and began to press her breast against me as well. Oh, do not ask me to pick which one. Also, does my character have almost a six pack? I just realized that. Like, he looks like he's yeah, about to get some abs. I don't know why I'm noticing that. I'm not answering that. I don't know. I mean, I feel the softness on both sides of me. Both of them feel presently um, plump and aiming um, a mile. Ah, aim that softness. Clear your mind. Clear your mind. Both Doya and Daisy are clinching onto me while. I'm totally nude. They're not nude. They're actually in the underwear again. Right? And I can't help but feel a various of sensation. Basically, ah. However, as soon as I realize this, it's the only thing that remains in my head. Think of nothing. Call your mind. Can you clear your mind in this situation? That's the thing. I would not be able to clear my mind. Right? My dog would be jumping for joy probably. Or Dying from joy. I have no idea. That's right. Close your eyes and clear your mind, and you get through this. <laughs> Squish. Uh, uh, it's nothing. Nothing. It was nothing. S sorry. It's not good. I can't possibly clear my mind in a situation like this. Oh boy. Daisy, does this um Daisy doesn't seem to care about comparing chess anymore and is entirely absorbed into the snuggling up against me. I don't mind snuggling! Snuggle all you want! Just like Don't mess with the duck! Uh why does Andrew have to be the one coming to see this? Oh boy. But I'm going to end it here. I figured this would be a good place to end it, actually, with more suspense and stuff like that. And be like, oh, what's going to happen now? I have no idea what's going to happen now, actually, after this. Well, until later. But anyhow, if you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you pounce on over to if you enjoyed. And if you guys do my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon too so you don't new videos. So until next time, this is Don Beast. How are we out?